Have you ever wondered about the origins of knowledge? How did humans first acquire the ability to reason, create, and innovate? These questions have puzzled scientists and philosophers for centuries. In this presentation, we will explore the fascinating theory put forward by author Jeremy Narby in his book The Cosmic Serpent. Narby suggests that indigenous cultures may hold the key to understanding the origins of knowledge, and that DNA itself may play a crucial role in this process. But how could this be possible? Join us on a journey of discovery as we delve into the mysteries of the cosmic serpent and its connection to human consciousness. The cosmic serpent is a symbol found in many indigenous cultures around the world, representing the connection between the physical and spiritual realms. It is often depicted as a serpent or snake, which is seen as a powerful and transformative force. In these cultures, the cosmic serpent is believed to be responsible for the creation of the universe and the transmission of knowledge from the spiritual realm to the physical world. It is also associated with healing and transformation, as it is believed to have the power to shed its skin and renew itself. What if our DNA held the secrets to unlocking the mysteries of knowledge? This is the provocative theory put forth by the author in his book, The Cosmic Serpent. He argues that indigenous cultures have long recognized the connection between DNA and knowledge, and that modern science is only beginning to catch up. According to the author, the double helix structure of DNA resembles the twisted form of the cosmic serpent, a symbol found in many indigenous cultures. He suggests that this is not a coincidence, but rather evidence of a deep understanding of the relationship between DNA and knowledge. By exploring the properties of DNA, he believes we can gain new insights into the nature of consciousness and the origins of knowledge. As I sat in the darkness of the jungle, surrounded by the sounds of the rainforest, I felt a sense of anticipation wash over me. I was about to drink ayahuasca, a powerful plant medicine used by indigenous cultures for centuries. As the effects began to take hold, I experienced a profound shift in my consciousness. The boundaries between myself and the world around me dissolved, and I felt a deep connection to everything. This experience was transformative for me, both personally and professionally. It inspired me to delve deeper into the study of indigenous cultures and their knowledge systems. I came to understand that these cultures have a fundamentally different way of understanding the world than we do in the West. They see themselves as part of an interconnected web of life, rather than as separate individuals. This realization has informed my research ever since, and has led me to question many of the assumptions that underpin Western science. One of the main critiques of the author's theory is that it relies too heavily on anecdotal evidence from his personal experiences with ayahuasca. Critics argue that this undermines the scientific validity of his research, as it is not based on empirical data or controlled experiments. Another controversy surrounding the author's work is the suggestion that it perpetuates a romanticized and exoticized view of indigenous cultures and their knowledge systems. Some argue that this can be harmful and reinforces colonialist attitudes towards these cultures. In summary, the author's theory proposes that DNA may hold the key to understanding the origins of knowledge and consciousness. The cosmic serpent plays a significant role in indigenous cultures as a symbol of this connection between DNA and knowledge. The author's personal experiences with ayahuasca further support this theory. The implications of this theory are vast and far-reaching. It challenges our traditional understanding of knowledge and consciousness, and opens up new avenues for exploration and discovery. What other secrets might be hidden within our DNA? How can we tap into this knowledge to enhance our understanding of ourselves and the world around us? These are just a few of the questions that arise from the author's groundbreaking research. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.